Although there are glorious victories, like the Battle of Prevaza in their history, Turks are not known as a maritime nation. In fact, after Prevaza, they are mostly known for their defeat in the naval history books. However, Turks are making a name in the naval community again with the Ada class corvette. This remarkable surface combatant differs from its counterparts in the world considering its capabilities and dimensions. As the weapon detective, we are investigating the Ada, the Turkish naval shipbuilding program. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start. Each of these corvette takes its name from an island of Turkey, in particular the Prince Islands. Therefore, these ships are defined as the Ada class. The Ada class corvette is the first product of Turkey's ambitious Milgem program. Milgem is an abbreviation made up of the Turkish words Milli Gemi, meaning national ship. In order to understand the background of this program, it is necessary to take a long journey in the past. The Republic of Turkey was founded in 1923 after the devastating First World War and Turkish War of National Liberation. Because of these wars, the infrastructure and manpower of this new poor country had to come to an end. The navy, taken over from the Ottoman Empire, consisted of a small number of ships that had become obsolete or unusable. Although some programs were carried out to strengthen the navy, they were quite limited due to both insufficient economic and technical capability of Turkey. As a member of the Western Bloc after the Second World War, Turkey was supplied surplus naval vessels, especially from the military aid programs of the USA and the UK. At first glance, Turkey had become an important regional maritime power in an inexpensive way. Both Turkey and its allies were satisfied with the situation. However, when the Cyprus dispute arose, the problems started. The ethnic conflict on the island escalated rapidly. In 1963, after bloody Christmas attack carried out by the Greek Cypriots, Turkey was intending a military intervention in Cyprus. This intention was blocked in 1964 by the ultimatum of the US President Lyndon B. Johnson. The US government officially stated that Turkey cannot go to war with US weapons. This ultimatum was a breaking point. Turkish government realized that they must have an independent defense industry to protect their interest over Cyprus. As a result of this decision, Turkey laid down an escort destroyer named Berk TCG in 1967. TCG Berk, which is the first major surface combatant to be built in Turkey, was a modified model of the US Cloud Jones class. The second important breaking point happened due to the Cyprus dispute again. During the invasion of Cyprus in 1974, a Turkish combat aircraft sunk the Turkish destroyer TCG Kocatepe as a result of an intelligence error. The Turkish Navy investigated the incident and realized that its warships didn't have sufficient air defense capabilities. Because these ships had been designed according to the US doctrines. According to the US doctrine, air defense of the fleet is provided by carrier-borne aircraft and missile-equipped surface combatants. Yet, Turkey had neither the air defense missile capable ships nor the aircraft carriers. In order to solve this problem, in 1980, Turkey requested permission from the USA to build Oliver Hazard Perry class locally. However, the permission was not granted. So, Turkey turned to Germany to build the Mako 200 class frigates locally. The Turkish Navy determined its unique requirements within the scope of this program and requested some modifications to the general configuration of the ship. Now, Turks were organizing their navies according to their own doctrines, not according to the doctrines determined by others. The Turkish Navy determined the need for corvettes in 1996. Turkey initially evaluated the work with foreign partners. However, it was later decided that the launch of a national shipbuilding program was strategically important. However, late 1990s and early 2000s, Turkey was struggling with a major economic crisis, so the program progressed slowly. 
Milgram Project Office was established in 2004. During this time, the program was redefined. Milgram was no longer just a local Corvette development effort. Now, Turkey has planned to domestically design and build multi-purpose frigates and large air defense frigates. In addition, the project has included not only vessel design, but also local design and production of subsystems to be used on these surface combatants. Therefore, Turkey's leading defense industry companies, universities and research institutions have worked jointly. Many sub-programs have been launched for the development and production of subsystems to be used on these ships. The first of the other class corvettes, which is the first stage of the Milgan project, TCG Heybileda, was laid down in 2007. She was launched a year later and commissioned in 2011. According to the original plan, Turkey would commission eight other class corvettes. Two of them would be built in naval shipyards and the remaining six in private sector shipyards. However, this number has been reduced to four and all corvettes are built by the naval shipyard. The complement of the other class is 95. According to the Turkish Navy website, the fully loaded displacement of the ship was 2,300 tons. However, in many other sources, there are many different information. The Corvette has nearly 100 meters length, 14.5 meters beam, and 4 meters draught. The propulsion system of the other class consists of one 31,280 horsepower GE LM 2500 gas turbine and two 5,875 horsepower MTU 16V 595 diesel engines in Kodak configuration. The maximum speed is 29 knots. The Corvette can sail nearly 6,500 km at an economic speed of 15 knots. The ship has one RIM 116 ram closing weapon system and eight RGM 84 harpoon anti-ship missiles. The other class is also equipped with one 76mm gun and two 12.7mm machine guns as well as 324mm torpedoes. The ship can carry one S-70B helicopter. The other class has stealth design. Corrosion resistant aluminum alloys are used in some part of the hull, made of steel. Superstructure is made of composite materials. The acoustic, hydrodynamic and infrared signatures of the ship are very low. The Corvette has full operation capability at Sea State 5 and limited operational ability at Sea State 6. The Ada class can be operated in NBC environment. The main task of the Ada class is anti-submarine warfare. For this reason, the ship has aviation facilities at the same level as that in frigates. However, displacement was kept low to be more effective in littoral waters. With this design, the ship can be defined as an intermediate form between corvette and frigate. For this reason, the Ada class is generally compared to the US Freedom class littoral combat ship. However, the Turkish corvette has a more conventional surface combat and design philosophy with high combat capability. The Freedom class is an unconventional design with low combat capability, high speed and variable mission modules. The Ada class is the most capable surface combatant of the Turkish Navy, given its command and control and combat management systems. The ship's combat management system has been developed locally and is an advanced model of the Genesis used in the Turkish Navy's Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates. The Smart S Mark II long range air and surface surveillance radar of the Corvette can detect maritime patrol aircraft from 200 km and anti-ship missiles from 50 km. It can track more than 500 targets simultaneously. Turkish Aselsan company produces this radar of Thales under license. Also, the ship's sonar and many countermeasure systems have been developed locally. The capabilities of the ship's 76mm super rapid gun have been increased compared to the original production models thanks to the locally developed fire control algorithm. The Stamp remote control weapon station of the other class has an interesting story. 
Asal-san, the manufacturer of the system, began to develop the Atal gun and the Zipgun pedestal mountain stinger ground-based air system in the 1990s. While this project was continuing, the company has developed the Bora, the ship-based version of the Atal gun and the Zipgun. The system has undergone extensive trials on the Turkish Navy's TCG Typhoon fast attack craft. After the trials, Turkish naval staff were not satisfied with the performance of the Stinger missile on the sea, but found Bora's track ability quite successful. So a remote control weapon station with a track system used in the Bora was requested. The staff was developed to respond to this request. Originally, the weapon station was developed against asymmetric surface threats. However, it has been observed in the trials that the detection, identification and track capabilities of the system against the air targets are quite superior. There are 21 missiles in the Mark 144 launcher system of the RAM. The Ada class is equipped with the Block 1 model of this closed-in weapon system. This version has both radar and infrared guidance system. Thus, the RAM can also be used effectively against stealth anti-ship missiles. The Ada class is currently equipped with Harpoon anti-ship missiles. However, Turkey will replace the Harpoon with the Atmaja developed by Roketsan. The Atmaja, which is still in the development phase, is equipped with 250 kg warhead and has an effective range over 200 km. In 2019, Turkish Navy conducted its first ship launch firing of the missile from the Ada class corvette TCG Kanalada. The most important difference of the Ada class from its counterparts in the world is that it can be equipped with the S 70B Seahawk helicopter. Thus, the ship gained anti submarine warfare capability similar to frigates. Russia is also building large corvettes. However, the Ka-27 helicopter used in these ships has a low capacity compared to the S-70Bs. In the Russian doctrine, helicopters are used in pairs, which one of them conducts hunter mission and the other conducts killer mission. However, Seahawk can conduct hunter and killer mission by itself. Thus, a single other class surface combatant have anti-submarine warfare capability equivalent to two Russian corvettes. Other corvettes in the world which are currently in use are suitable for light helicopters. The Ada class TCG Heybeliada performed this first RIM-116 ram live fire drill of the Turkish Navy in 2012. In 2014, the Turkish Navy's Barbaros task group passed through the Cape of Good Hope for the first time after 1866. TCG Heybeleda was a part of this task group. As we mentioned before, the number of corvettes that will be built by Turkey dropped from 8 to 4. Now, the Istanbul class frigates, which are the enlarged model of the Ada class, are being worked on. TCG Istanbul, the first ship of the class, was laid down in 2017. The ship is expected to be commissioned in 2021. Istanbul class will have 16 anti-ship missiles instead of 8 and will be equipped with the vertical launching system. So these frigates will have the capability of firing RIM-66 standard and RIM-162 ESSM air defense missiles. The last step of the Milgan project is the TF-2000 anti-air warfare frigate which will have the displacement of over 7000 tons. Thanks to its superior features, the Ada class soon attracted the attention of many countries. However, Turkey has begun to be isolated in foreign policy in recent years. For this reason, many countries considered as potential customers of this corvette turned to other sources. Nevertheless, Pakistan, which is a faithful friend of Turkey, ordered four corvettes in 2018. However, the ships of the Pakistan Navy will differ from the original Ada class. Pakistani ships will have Kodak propulsion system instead of Kodak in order to increase sea endurance from 10 to 15 days. 
Also, after a short time, it is declared that the fourth ship will be entirely designed and constructed in Pakistan. The Ara class is one of the most important indicators of the Turkish defense industry's capability level. Despite all economic and political difficulties, it is the product of a program that has been carried out decisively since 1967. Unlike in 1967, Turks no longer build ships and equip them with subsystems they bought from the West. They also develop their own weapons and electronic systems. The isolation of this country in foreign policy day by day is an obstacle for the other class to reach wide markets, but it is still a success that changes the game. The ability to build naval ships that remain in the hegemony of the Western states for a long time is being broken by the East. Like China and South Korea, now Turkey is also a player in this game. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.